Hey guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. Today, I've got a video for you of this beautiful 2011 Saab 9.5. This one is just the standard turbo model. As you can see outside, this one's finished off in a oak metallic exterior, which is a beautiful looking exterior color on this car. This is probably my favorite design that Saab ever put out. I mean, not only do you never see these around anymore, but this is just such a beautiful car. Outside, you can see you do have some chrome trim around your belt line. Full some piano black trim up top, which matches around here and on your mirrors. You can see your LED turn signal indicators and all of that. Door handles are body colored with some chrome accenting and they have your intelligent entry built in. And up top on this one, you can see the panoramic roof right there, as well as your radio antenna on the back. Around the rear, you can see the beautiful LED tail light design that these come with, with your light bar that goes all the way across the trunk. Rear parking sensors on this one as well. You can see your Saab 9.5 and BioPower badges. I believe BioPower stands for the uh, four cylinder turbo that's in this one. Fuel cap is on the passenger side. Typical GM, just walk up, make sure the car is unlocked, and press to release. Down below, this one is riding on Continental Connie Pro Contact tires. They are 245, 45R18s. So you have 18 inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes, of course. This is probably my favorite angle of the 9.5 right here. And up front, you can see your projector headlights, LED daytime running lights, and fog lights down below. Those are your Saab badges, front and center, of course. Go ahead and get in this one. It does include your typical Saab uh, keyless entry key fob. Lock, unlock, panic, trunk release. Then also, just make sure it's locked, press and hold. And this one is equipped with remote start. Also, press and hold on the key, and it will release the trunk. Go ahead, cut it off, get in this one. As I mentioned, intelligent entry, just walk up, pull the door handle, and it will unlock. Touch right there to lock. Go ahead and get in. And this one does have the beige leather interior, which is in perfect shape. I mean, I really think you will have a hard time finding another one of these as clean as this one. You can see our wood grain accenting on the door, power seat memory down below. We'll go ahead and start it. To start, put on the brake and press right here. And we'll go ahead, close the door. Just have the key fob inside of the vehicle and you're all good to go. Inside you can see this one does have a leather wrapped steering wheel. Nice and tight power steering as you'd expect from Saab. On the wheel itself, cruise control over here, your audio system controls over here. On the door, it's all padded material up top, padded leather around here and padded leather around here. All four automatic windows, rear window lockout, and then your power mirror controls are up here. They also are power folding. Just press right there and they will fold in. Same goes for the passenger side. Just like that. Down below, some storage. As I mentioned, more of the wood grain around here. Storage, and then over here, you have your headlight controls, fog lights, all of that. Dashboard is all soft touch, high quality material as you'd expect. Right here, you can see your different settings for the center display. You can bring up your OnStar, navigation, different trip computers, fuel range, all kinds of things like that. I believe that's even a boost gauge. Very nice and simple, or you can just have the clean blank display. Tachometer, speedometer, and then your turbo fuel gauge and uh, engine temperature over there. You can see the boost gauge up top. Like I said, gauge dimmer, headlight controls, and then all of the vents inside are the typical Saab aircraft fashion, where you can adjust them like that. It's a really, really neat design. Around here, you have your audio system up top. This button is for your night panel, which when you press it, will shut off everything inside other than the speedometer, so you can just have a nice, clean layout. You can also bring that back on, just like that. Radio display right there. This one is equipped with AM, FM, CD, um, auxiliary in, satellite radio, all of that. It's a this one also is equipped with the Harman Kardon audio system from the factory, so it is a fantastic sounding system.
all of your preset stations around here. Up top you have your child locks, your central lock controls, and then hazards. Like I said, night panel, and then all of your radio controls are around here. CD player, then down below, dual zone automatic climate control, your temperatures for the driver and passenger, heated seats for the driver and passenger, as well as your different zones, fan speed, and everything else. Shifter in the middle for the six-speed automatic this one is equipped with. Drive, manual mode, and then reverse. It is equipped with parking sensors, as I mentioned. Traction control on and off, parking sensors on and off, and your electronic parking brake. And around here, this has all the very nice wood grain lined around it. Inside of here, two cup holders and a power outlet, as well as some storage. And the cup holders, you can actually raise these little pieces up on the bottom if you need uh, deeper storage power outlet and you can see too everything in here has the really cool old school Saab uh, green interior lighting. Padded armrest in the middle, storage inside of there which is dual tier. Padded armrest in the middle with your leather stitching on it, storage inside and this also can raise up just like that. Pretty cool design. Seats are very very comfortable, high quality leather and as you can see they've held up fantastic. You have the stitching in the middle and all of that. Down below, storage up front. Up top, you can see your auto dimming rear view mirror with OnStar, as well as your interior lighting, all of that up top, right there. Garage home link, and then all of your sunroof controls right here. Press that, and it will send the shade all the way back for your panoramic roof. And then right here, press that, and that will actually open the sunroof. You can see you have your wind deflector up front. visors, your vanity mirror, all of that. We'll go ahead, step out of the Saab, driver's side automatic window down, make sure everything's unlocked, and pop the hood down here. Inside the rear seat of this 9.5, as you can see, everything follows through on the door, material quality wise, your stitched leather, and the speakers for your Harman Kardon audio down below. Inside the rear seat of this one. I am 6'2", and as you can see, the driver's, sit is where I, the driver's seat is where I would sit, and I have plenty of space. I mean, it's a very, very nice and comfortable back seat on this car. See your back seat pockets on each side, and it's even cool, too, the design of the seat, because even if it was back further, it's got a nice cutout in it. Two air vents down below, storage. Once again, you can see that beautiful panoramic roof. You have your interior lighting controls back here. And then in the center, your armrest, two cup holders, and storage in there. This can also act as a ski pass to the trunk. of the trunk on this 9.5. Everything follows through back here. You can see this vehicle has a massive trunk. I mean, plenty of storage inside. It does include all four of your carpeted original floor mats. And then down below there, spare tire, jack storage, and all of that. So you have different access panels, as well as tie downs and things like that on the side. You even do get a 12 volt outlet in the trunk. Yeah, I was not expecting that. Absolutely massive trunk on the 9.5. Everything follows through on this side. As well as up front, this one does have a power passenger seat. All adjusted by down below. And also, too, in typical Saab fashion, you have the little pockets built into the front of the seats on each side. Inside of the glove box, this one does include all of your original owner's literature inside of here. Honestly, would not be surprised if a window sticker was in there somewhere. As well as your Saab wheel lock kit right there. So Very, very nice. Like I said, good luck finding another one of these that is in the shape that this one is in. 
Up front, you can see your projector headlights, fog lights, and then under the hood. This one is equipped with Saab's two liter turbo four cylinder. Everything under here is in great shape, running fantastic. Even though this is the base engine for the 9.5, it's still plenty of power, very fun to drive. In the front wheel drive, you'll get great gas mileage. Close that. And get back in, cut the sob off. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Cut it off right here. We'll try and remind you to remove the key. And we'll put the headlights back in the auto mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.